Were you coming? All right, welcome back to the University of the Western Cape Television Myths uh, Science at the UWC. All right, now we've got a few students from the outreach program that uh, Professor Hartley touched on a little earlier. So I'm going to ask you uh, to sort of give us a, an, an experiment of what is this? What is this about? Okay, so this is basically uh, icing sugar and this is uh, sulfuric acid. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some sulfuric acid and uh, so what I'm trying to prove is that um, the, what's going to happen is going to be a dehydration of, um, of um, uh, uh, hydrogen and oxygen. So, if, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to pour some sulfuric acid. Okay. Okay. I think you removed the mic from me. Uh, well, so, and what is she doing? She needs to come in. Lady, we haven't spoken to, okay, we spoke to a girl earlier, but you, what is your job here? All right, hold on while we still wait for her. She's going to get a few of her stuff because that is apparently hot. But what are we trying to prove here? Okay, so something like a sponge is going to pop up. Yeah. So so the, so the it's going to pop up basically. Yeah. yeah, so I have to like um, spin because it's just stirring basically. All right, how long will it take before it becomes a sponge? Uh, I don't know. You know, it depends if it's going to work. <laughs> we're, just, we're just hoping it works basically. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's come to uh, the lady here who's going to tell us what she's up to. What is this now? Tell us a little bit. Well, this is potassium and we are about to prove that sugar has too much energy into it. So what we'll basically do is we'll, put, we'll burn the potassium and it will turn into liquid. And after burning the potassium and turning it into liquid, we'll throw in the sweet, which will then prove that um, the, 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 the sweet has too much energy in it. So you're just waiting for it to turn in its liquid form. Okay. All right. I know a lot of dietitians will be very happy about this, that sugar has too much energy in it. So this is what they're trying to prove, that you can't have your tea with sugar in it. Sugarless society. Yeah, and it will give off an exothermical reaction, which will give spark, which will give spark to the... Breaking, breaking. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. All right, let's see, let's see. Okay, here we go. There it is. It's turning it into a sponge. <laughs> Here we go. There it is. Uh, turning into a sponge. The power of science. All right. And then there was icing sugar. Hey, it was. Uh, there was sulfuric um, acid and the mix of uh, icing sugar. So basically, this uh, dehydration of oxygen and hydrogen. Yeah. yeah. And it really stinks. Yo. <laughs> and it does stink. Hey. All right. I'm gonna see if we can move to uh, the next table. Well, before we move to the next table, let's see about. Uh, there it is. There they throw in a sweet and to show the energy that sugar has. This is what this experiment that you can see on your shot there is trying to prove uh, that sugar has enough energy. They used a sweet there. All right, I'm going to try and reverse back. Hopefully I don't fall. And then we're going to speak to uh, Ashton uh, Secondary School. All right, you must now tell us what your experiment does. The guy with the funny <laughs> wig there. All right, tell us a little bit about this. We are going to do the rocket for you. The rocket works as follow: just potassium chloride. We're gonna heat it until it's heat cooking point, and then we're gonna put on some sticks so that the oxygen that's in, in inside that that's uh, inside the potassium chloride that's going to reagent with this. Okay. And then we're gonna heat it. We're gonna make a big fire. Yeah. All right, so make the big fire and then just talk us through it again because, you know, it's a TV is a visual me uh, medium, you know, we, we want to see, you must prove. Okay. Yes, okay. You're going to eat it first. What is that that he's got in his hand there? It's a gas. Gas burner. Gas burner. It eats the potassium chloride. Yeah. So, so it turns into a liquid. Oh. Into a liquid. Okay. All right, so uh, these are the young students that are part of the outreach program. If you've just tuned in to uh, Morning Live and you're wondering uh, what is going on, well, we're talking all things science at the University of the Western Cape. All right, and we're speaking to the students who are going to take us through uh, what is going on at the moment. Okay. Now we're going to put the sticks into the... And see what it, what happens. Yes, 
Hey, okay, so we must move where there's an explosion. Yes. <laughs> you can burn. <laughs> yeah. The power of science. Yes. Yeah. Very That nice. is what we do in Eastern Secondary School. Our yeah. teachers, we learn us very much about science. Yeah. And yeah. All right. Looking forward to do it again. Yes. All right. So we need to move into uh, the next school now. Now this school is Lair School. Dagbreak. Okay, all right. So now, let's see what is your experiment about. We're going to do the experiment. Smile for the bee. Okay. It's um, hydrochloric acid and um, zinc granules that forms hydrogen gas, and then the lot of the Pringle container will pop. Okay, I'm going to ask you to speak me through that because I'm pretty sure you've just spoken French right now. Okay, <laughs> so what is this about? What the Pringles tin and the Horse pipe looking thing. Talk to us about that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ask you, the fellow students, to continue doing that in the meantime so we can see it. Um, that's the Pringle container with a small hole in the bottom. Then we need the delivery tube, yeah. a stopper, some plastic, a conical flask, zinc granules, uh, hydrochloric acid, and that's that. And a candle on stick and, a, and some matches. Yeah. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to do here? What are you trying to achieve? Um. <laughs> Excuse you. The fumes. Oh! All right. So these things do happen. So we do apologize. Uh, hopefully nothing burns there. Uh, but the power of science. We're going to try and move on to the next table and see if they can help through uh, with the experiments that are currently continuing at the moment. All right, live action as it happens. Hey, the power of live TV. What is this? Hopefully you guys are not gonna burn us down here. Hey? Yeah, we saw the fire there earlier. All right, so, all right, let's see. All right, what is this? Um, who am I speaking to? To you. All right, give me your name and then tell me what is going on here. Okay. Good morning, my name is Mishka Marcus and I'm from Ferguson okay. Primary School. Um, I'm explaining about the nails. When you press a balloon on the one nail, it bursts. But when you press it on a, a bed of nails, it doesn't burst. So he's gonna uh, he's gonna show us when he sits on the nails, he doesn't get hurt. Yeah. Yes. Why is that though? Explain that to me. It's because when you sit on one nail, your whole waist, um, weight rests on that nail. When you sit on a bed of nails, your weight spreads all over all yeah. the nails. Oh, okay. And I believe the Premier Helen Zilla was sitting on these nails. Guys, I didn't know this, hey, that you can sit on a bed of nails and you won't get, you know, I'm going to try and sit. Can I sit? Okay, I'm going to sit, hey. I'm going to sit on a bed of nails. Guys, are you sure? <laughs> Oh, actually, it does work. Okay, so the power of science, hey, I'm sitting on a bed of nails and it doesn't prick. But if I had to sit on one, because my whole weight would be on one of these nails, then it would um, impact me. But okay, enough sitting. Thank you very much. I'm going to try and get off. And then we're going to speak to our last, last, the, 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 the York Road um, students as well, who did that explosion for us, if you remember, a little earlier on the program. All right, so what's, what's new now? Tell me about it. You've also got balloons. Um, I'll be showing you how not to burst a balloon on flames. Can I, should I move away? Uh, it's not going to burst that big. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try and switch it on again. Not burst because the water in, in, the, the, water in the balloon will be absorbing the, the heat. That's why the, the rubber won't get hot enough to be able to burst. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. All right. All right. That's a wrap from all of us here at the University of the Western Cape. I've had actually some amazing, amazing times here at the University of the Western Cape. All things science and technology. Remember, uh, it is a countrywide celebration of science, technology, engineering, and innovation. All right. Let's let me hand.